In this special report, we ask the question, is hard economic times making it difficult for local organizations and charities to raise funds for their cause? It seems that conventional methods for raising funds are no longer working, according to these organizers. Not only are consumers feeling the economic pinch, but they are also looking for more value when supporting their favorite organizations. Lisa, this story actually started in early 2011. That's right, Rick. So six months ago, we went out to my town and asked local organizers what hurdles they've encountered. Here we are with Mrs. Tuttle, second grade teacher at my town elementary. How have these tough economic times impacted your school? Well, it started with the budget cuts. I now have to dip into my own pocket to purchase simple items like tissues, crayons, scissors, glue, and the list goes on and on. In the past, we have sold candy, but that just doesn't seem to work anymore. This is the 45th house today, and not one person is home. I'm sure I just saw them pull in the garage. It's Billy again. He's selling those $8 boxes of candy. We just can't afford it. Don't answer the door. But I like candy. We are here with one of our local Little League teams. How's your season been, Coach Miller? Well, we're six and six. It would help if we had better equipment. Our bats are four years old. Our uniforms are falling apart. Half of the lights at the complex are burned out. At the beginning of the year, we tried to raise money by selling pizza. The only people that bought it were the players' parents. The kids' weights went up, their batting averages dropped, and we couldn't even steal a base if my grandmother was catching. We're now here at the My Town Jail, so let's talk to Steve, an alumni at My State University. Steve, why are you locked up in this jail? Well, Lisa, it's a long story. My State University locked me up, and my job is to raise enough funds from fellow alumni brothers and sisters to meet my bail. However, Lisa, with these tough economic times, it's not going so well. I've been in here for four days. There has to be a better way. Lisa, things have definitely changed in the last six months. My town has discovered a new way to raise funds, and it's a huge hit. So I went back to see for myself. Last time Billy was trying to raise funds for his school, I wouldn't even answer the door. Now I can really help Billy. All I have to do is give out these free dashboards to all of my family, friends, and co-workers. It's that easy. I just send out a few emails, post to my Facebook page, and I feel like I'm really making a difference. Not to mention, the dashboard has helped me to get so organized by having all of my online stuff in one place. And I saved over $100 on that new handbag. You know, the last time Steve asked me for help with his get out of jail fundraiser, I just couldn't afford to help him out. I think after a week they let him go out of pity. But this time I purchased a coupon from my dashboard to my favorite local restaurant for $12 and got $24 worth of food. Now I can help out weekly, even daily. I love to eat. The dashboard is awesome. All of my favorite sports, news, weather in one place, and I also have the chance to win weekly prizes, all while I help out my alumni association. And I had to check back with uh, Coach Miller. How have things changed for you and your team in the last six months? Well, first of all, we've won 10 in a row. We got some new equipment, the lights are working, and can you believe it? We're raising funds every day, even while I'm here at the beach. These free dashboards that we give away are a home run. My Network One should be in the Hall of Fame. It couldn't be better. Give me a fist pump. Wow, Rick, what a difference six months has made. Well, Lisa, it's not so much about the time, but they have found a new way to raise funds. With all the technology in our lives, someone had to come up with a simple way to do fundraising, and they have. My Network One has an online dashboard that allows local organizations to give their own branded interactive dashboard away for free. Local consumers and supporters are able to customize this dashboard with all of their favorite online activities, like email, social media, and favorite sites all in one place. Then local and national National businesses deliver great deals just like Groupon and Living Social. But when someone purchases one of these deals, that organization earns a portion of the profit. It's brilliant. Supporters love it because they are finally getting value just like Dave. He got $24 worth of food at a local restaurant for 
Well, Lisa, there you have it. My Network One is changing the way the country is raising funds, all while giving value to the supporter. It's no wonder My Network One is called the Everybody Wins Network. <laughs> 